Yeah, we'll call this trailer repair part two. Uh, my battery went dead. Anyway, I was going to get a grinder up in here and try to grind off the remnant of the weld on the old torque tubes. And the grinder wouldn't go up in there. <clears throat> Obvious question would be, well, why didn't you cut that off first and grind it down, then weld on the new one? Even though it was damaged, it was holding the gooseneck assembly somewhat in place and I didn't want it to spring on me that's why so about uh, 84 down here today bright sunshine today a little on the warm side to tell you the truth and, uh, what I was saying in the other video I've had this job box forever and trying to keep the dirt daubers out of my tools there it is and, uh, I also got a sack of uh, horse and mule feed. Try to get those hogs closer to me so I can kill the damn things. And then I was digging around looking for something and found all my backhoe bucket teeth. <clears throat> the ones over here are the rock teeth that came off the backhoe uh, when I bought it. These are some teeth I bought for all the backhoes I worked on over the years. Got some of the big cotter keys to mount the bucket pin. And got the tooth keepers, John Deere. And here's that tool I was talking about the other day. It's called a pin master. Uh, you can get them off the internet. Uh, to get those little pins out, this is about a must have. Uh, it takes the pin out and puts the pins back in. Uh, these are hammer surfaces over here. That's when you put in the pin in, you use that socket, and drive it home with this. This side is to remove the pins. Uh, pretty handy little doodad. So if you had a John Deere or teeth that are pin on, similar to a John Deere design, definitely get you one of them. And got the trailer out of the barn. Been sitting out in the sun all day. The uh, paint's nice and hard. Did get a spare tire for it. Yeah, paint's good and hard now. Uh, this is my winter water barrel. I put the well back in the service, so I got uh, water. Uh, this is in case we got a campfire that gets out of control or something. I got a source of water to put it out. And fixing to move the trailer and put it <clears throat> in its more permanent home and get it out of the barn. <sighs> what else? I don't seem like it, but I actually got a lot done today. Got all my stuff put away. Put my weld machine back on its regular cart and roll around inside the shop. Got to put all my welding jack stands together. I got around doing that yet. I got some ammo boxes down at the house. Might bring one of them up here. Uh, they're steel, uh, real military ammo boxes, not the aftermarket. I might figure out a way to fix it on that backhoe and keep all the teeth and everything inside the ammo box so I don't go crazy trying to find all that stuff again whenever I need it. So. I found all kinds of stuff in that uh, job box. It'd been down in one of my other buildings for about 12 years. I actually forgot what was in it. Just a bunch of junk. But a uh, near new DeWalt uh, 3 8 high speed drill corded. Uh, found a fish finder of all things. I don't know why it was in there. That's an eagle. And broken. Oh well. Rope. I don't know. Coffee, of all things. I don't know why I got that. What a good rag. I don't know. Anyway, I got two coffee cups. 
some sunscreen looks like. And this is a good bucket. Hmm. I also had two 100 foot extension cords. I got them hung up over there on my wood rack. Just a assortment of stuff in there. They never know what's going to find. Drop light, some electrical stuff, easy outs, some drills, some empty boxes. Hmm. Anyway, coming up on about 3.30, I still got to put the trailer away and put some stuff for my truck uh, into the uh, new barn. More stuff I brought up. I got some stuff I need to take back. Need to work. So, that's about all for this one. I might go down and set in the hog line. Might not. I kind of woke up tired today and uh, actually did a lot, so I'm kind of tired still. But anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.